Fox News alert, 8 o'clock in Philadelphia. Riots overnight there. 30 officers hurt and more than 30 people have been arrested after violence erupted overnight, Ainsley. Several stores looted and damaged oh. during the unrest there. The protests growing now after police shot and killed a man who had a knife and wouldn't put it down. Look at this. All right, everyone, I'm back in my hotel room. Um, long night in Philly. I mean, we're talking blocks of stores being looted, completely destroyed. They were targeting white people. Um, Elijah Schaefer was targeted and he jumped. They uh, went after me for filming. I don't think I've ever ran so fast in, in my life. I'm not even joking. And the whole time I was thinking, you know, if they catch me, I'm going to the hospital or I'm going to die. And keep in mind, this was all started because an officer shot an armed black man with a knife going after him armed and you can't, can't help but look at these journalists out there that have reported on this not even mentioning that he was armed them doing that escalates situations like this hello everyone welcome back to the channel and today guys we're going to be talking about the philadelphia incident that happened last night and uh, leading up to it and how it could be affecting the presidential election in favor of donald trump again so Thank you for guys for watching this video and if you want to watch right to the very end, the reason this video looks very long is because the fact it's got so much content in it, I want to make sure you guys get to see every detail that the media is not telling you about everything because there is already lies going about this fucking thing already. It's absolutely shameful on a journalist's point of view. So let's talk about Philadelphia guys. Wow. So Philadelphia's in flames again. And uh, looting shops again. And Black Lives Matters involved again. And another black guy died. From police. Again. And the black guy died from getting shot by the police. Again. Because the, gu the guy. The guy, yeah. He was armed with a knife. Again. Another armed person that got shot by the police. Again. And now that has led to riots and protests to happen in America or in the city of Philadelphia of Pennsylvania. So, the state of Pennsylvania. So, how did this happen? Because this is absolutely extraordinarily dumb of how things have gone escalated so bad. And we're going to show you a few footage things here to show you how bad this has gotten. So, police was called to the West Philly neighborhood. Around 5 p.m. on the Monday, not long ago, with a report of a man with a weapon. And the man's name was Walter Wallace. He was a black man and he, when the police arrived to the situation, they found that he was carrying a knife and he wouldn't have let go of the knife. And the family said he was suffering from, the man was suffering from mental illness. And yes, this is a very sad situation and I'm going to show you the video very soon of what exactly happened, which is the only evidence that we actually have of the actual incident itself. And it's a very sad situation that we've actually fell ourselves into. So what ended up happening was the, the police arrived to the situation. Wallace was holding a knife when he was there. He was getting told by the police to put the knife down to comply and he refused to comply uh, as when we look at this video here which is shown quite evidently that he went straight for the police officers and then they went for live rounds and then later on the guy died in the hospital let's go and show you the clip i do warn you this is quite horrific footage to watch so if you don't like watching horrific stuff, do not watch this video and just skip it over the next 15, 20 seconds. Okay? 30 seconds. Go. Yo, yo, watch, yo, watch the world. Don't shoot the world. Yo, you gonna smoke. Yo! Yo, watch my world. Yo, yo. Oh! 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 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes, that's quite horrific for anyone to watch. It's actually really unsettling. And I I am really sorry for the family that's actually had to suffer through that. But there's just so many things you could explain from that situation. It's a bit too hard to go in one go. I can't help to say the police officers probably could have done the only thing possible. But if you want me to talk about this in a further video, then just tell me in the comments below, say... Talk about this on the comments below. So, what happened after this? Well, basically, everyone took this to be a racist incident, and the media didn't help this at all by calling every time the incident happened, a man innocently got shot. They never mentioned the fact that the guy had a weapon. That is the blatant fact that the media loves to exploit, because this is absolutely terrible for journalism in general because you should be pulling the full facts but what ended up happening straight after that was the fact that everyone started burning Philadelphia to the fucking ground and then this led to looting and riots that happened all over Philadelphia and things went absolutely so insane that the National Guard had to get involved and take Philadelphia and that was actually terrible like the fact you had to bring the national guard in and it's this is uh like it brings up so many subjects in one go because the world is going fucking crazy right now and i don't even know how to react to it sometimes and that's why i've not made a video in a while and this is just one of these incidences i've been able to grab most of my attention to thank you social media sins so what ended up happening during the incidents uh, about uh Dozens of people were arrested, about 30 people were arrested, but also 30 police officers were injured. And there's actually an involvement where one of them is in, in critical condition. You should not be attacking the police, but soon as the uh, news got out that that black man got shot by the police for innocent, quote, reasons, um, the mob and the media started taking out this as racist tensions against the police. As saying the police are just, you know, racist because they have no legit means to shoot people when they have actual legit means to shoot people. As in, their lives being threatened of what happened with West Philly incident. And there was actually a serious incident, that one I mentioned before about the police officer, where the officer actually got struck by a truck. I'm not going to show that footage because it's actually quite low and I can't really make it out myself. But they got actually struck by a 4x4 truck. What the fuck is going on? I mean, this is absolutely mental. Riots, looters, National Guard getting poured in. And it's like, what the hell? This is your entire left bias media and left outlook. You folks support the stories and the media and the mob will go nuts. And they will say, just because he was black which is just racist to say in my own words, you should start protesting. No. I'm sorry. No, do, don't do that. It's fucking stupid. Especially when you don't know the entire facts. And this is why most of the people who are there are protesting. Are saying, oh, you killed an innocent man. The pigs are, the pigs are evil and kill them all. And that stupid shit. I cannot stand the left so much times. But let's go back to the actual shooting incident. Yes, I understand there's a lot of you that's probably mad that another guy got shot by the police. But when there's an incident where a man gets shot by the police and the fact is that he's holding a weapon or he's going for a weapon or is a threat to any person's life, this is when things get serious. And the police have to take that two second instant think, is this going to be fatal or is this not going to be fatal? Because... There has been incidences where people have been trying to m not shoot people. I mean, I've seen a lot of footage like that, but I'm going to show you two, three incidences why shooting people in the leg does not work, why shooting people with tasers don't work, because the body, if you're mentally, physically able, the body can take a bullet. You don't instantly die unless you get a headshot, I have like a pure, pure straight headshot from a sniper rifle or something that will blow half your skull out. 
But the thing is, shooting people in the leg and the above the torso is usually the part where people usually shoot because it's the biggest part of the body and easy to shoot. But that doesn't mean the pe person will go down quickly. And this is why deadly force is sometimes used in these incidences. Stand back! You will just step. Shot fired! Shot fired! Put the knife down, please! No! 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 Put the knife! Shots fired! Central shots fired! Put the knife! Hands behind your back! Hands behind your back! Ah, no, 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 get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! No! Get on the ground, man! Taze him! No, no, no! And what I'm seeing through this entire scenario is two nights of rioting, looting, scumbags, and lots of people getting injured, like unnecessary getting injured. Go and watch this little journalist guy who gets actually battered for journalism. So I, so as you can see, it's kind of hard for me to talk right now because I got jumped inside of a five below that's currently being uh, ransacked and completely looted. And you see to my left right here, this is an eye encounter store. We have an amazing uh, nail spa. And also right over here, there's a Walmart that's been completely gutted. We are here uh, across the river in Philadelphia, right by a Chick-fil-A. Uh, what happened was, is I just went into the five below to just see what was going on with some of the looting. And uh, I was jumped by the Black Lives Matter protesters who uh, immediately started punching and kicking me. Uh, one of them punched me directly right in the lip. I had to go to the hospital, I think, to get stitches uh, in this lip because it's just absolutely painful. But this is what's happening in the current state over the killing of Walter Wallace Jr. the other night. So I. And you can see here, it's actually quite shameful. Uh, it's like, why would you attack someone for reporting it? Well, remember, the left don't like media that doesn't belong to them. It's like, they have CNN, MSNBC, the entire Hollywood elite, and everyone else backing them up because, well, I guess they kind of have to. And it's like, no, well, you don't have to. But they just do it anyway because they back them up. They've got so much support, they think they can get away with shit. And people are trying to make the cover this up. All it was fully justified. All these things. The only thing that was really justified was the fact that you were annoyed that someone got shot, and it was the fact that it ended up in protests. I give that the only credit due, <clears throat> as it is from a first point of view. And the guy who got shot was legitimately a threat to anyone. And let's go back again to the actual incident of what is going on here. I mean, if a social worker got into this, are you fucking kidding me? The social worker might have probably died instead of actually fixing the situation. Imagine that. It's like, you can replace a cop with social workers, but what says that guy with the knife isn't going to kill the social worker? Same scenario. It's absolutely pathetic to make it otherwise. So let's go and think about this in scale for next week with the Donald Trump election or the presidential election. We still don't know what the result will be. I hope Donald Trump wins because I'm betting a few states that they will win. Ladbrooks.com, by the way. So, yes, I hope Donald Trump wins, but I bet this situation has just hyped it up again. Because apparently studies from before are saying protests... Uh, from the Black Lives Matter movement, which actually destroy people, shot, kill people, like 34 people, I think it's killed entirely, like from the actual mob themselves, has actually brought me people to more <clears throat> nationalist light movements, into like more Republican stance, because they're like, well, Democrat cities don't seem to be doing very well, because they're the ones that actually are going up in flames, but the Republican ones are not, weird enough. But... But what ends up happening after that, or just before this was all going up, things were going really bad for Philadelphia in general, because I think it's a Democrat-run state, isn't it? Or the Philadelphia thing is, anyway. And where what ends up happening is, it, it was actually really bad news from the, Wash the New York Times, sorry, I was going to say Washington Post, that the election may hinge on Philadelphia to say, 
Joe Biden will lose that earlier. And it's already, that would already build enough tensions. It's like, oh yeah, we're going to lose to the Republicans big time. Basically Hillary Clinton 2.0. And right now, in Philly alone, Biden is 10 points behind Hillary Clinton's support in the 2016. And Trump is 9 points ahead of the the same thing four years ago. So this is leading up to quite a uh, interesting scenario that could be coming up with Philadelphia. And so this is going to be Trump, this is going to be rioting, this is going to be police brutality, this is going to be racism, and this is all probably going to work in Trump's favour. Because you lot decide to burn, to burn the cities down. But if you were going peaceful protests about it all the time, this would be different. But you're not. And also I'd like to mention that Philadelphia from the New York New York Times, sorry. Trump is carrying 24 points ahead of Philly, and so he carries 24% up for the voters of the entire thing. So it's going to be really interesting to see what's going on. But to point it out, you're letting Donald Trump win. All you had to do was not react like a bunch of babies about one guy who got killed. Because I swear to death, there's people who die all the time and nobody gets rioting about it. I am not serious. I bet that happens a lot. And people just act naturally about it. But you guys want to take it hard and sad and burn the city down. But you know what? It's fine. Your downfall will just be your own fault. And you will blame Donald Trump like you did the last four fucking years. But my point of view, this whole incident didn't need to happen. But if it's going to involve more nights of... Lights and shootings, this is the reporting of two nights of serious injuries of 30 police officers being injured and one being seriously injured. This is not a good scenario for the left or the Democrats. But let's see how Donald Trump wins in Philly next year and see, or next week, sorry. Uh, that was a bit off. So let's see how things go, see how things turn out. I hope Donald Trump wins, but the war is only just begun. Thank you. So guys, thank you for watching this video straight to the very end, so I must have done something like that you've been able to watch this piece of shit long enough. So, thank you guys for watching this video right to the end, and if you want to support my channel in any other way, because we are planning to go big on this channel, we are planning to make sure the left knows us, make sure the cancel culture recognises we are a threat, like me and many other creators, our voices are being silenced every and each day, so we must make sure we stand out to the cloud. And I am going to make sure my voice and freedom of speech is going to be there too. And if you want to help me support this, we are on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Parler and Patreon. We're also on BitChute and we also have our own website. So if you want to know any special details, make sure you click onto the Parler app and the bit shoot so we can get more content on this for the special members on those pages and you get to see more events about what I'm doing it's going to be a lot of interesting stuff you get to see on those things so make sure you sign up to all these different pages where you want to get to see what I'm doing and we could get a lot of interesting stuff going on here guys so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one and remember hail the empire